All right, YouTube. Haven't done one of these for a while. For a little while. And so I once again playing Legend Bowl. Legend Bowl. Um, little franchise. And I will load the franchise. They're gonna be the bandits. The Shreveport Bandits. This is off of a, uh, this is actually something. There are different uh, rosters you can use. This is the, um, one of the rosters you can get the pass rush roster in there. And so this one, actually, I should have full disclosure. I actually did the pass rush roster at a time earlier in development. Um, I think it was back in, September or uh, August this year. Let's see here, and I'm going to play this game. So I'm one one in this franchise. Anyway, RE, the pass rush roster, earlier this year I made it. And it's one of those, uh, the idea of the roster was that um, it was basically an attempt to get more sacks. And I actually, with the way that the game was at that time, it did increase the sack rate. Um, but since then, some things have been done in the game. So the pass rush roster, I wouldn't, I don't know that it increases overall sacks by that much anymore. At the beginning, when I first made it, <laughs> it made a demonstrable difference. It was clear and evident uh, how many the, the pass <laughs> pass rush was far more volatile, far more vile. Um, it was hard to get. Well, you know, in the watch live games, you would see ten sack games sometimes. You know, combined between the teams. One time I saw one team. And in fact, I think the video is still up somewhere on YouTube where Pittsburgh got like 10 sacks in a game, and I think four went to Mean Joe Green. And it was just crazy. Anyway, so I took that roster and then realigned it, did some stuff, kept the ratings, but took all the names out, and just changed the uniform and all that stuff. So this is the same rating ideas. It's just with different teams. These were teams that I had actually edited way, way back last year they, uh, with color schemes and uh, the logos that were in the game and stuff. So, oh, you know, I should check my depth chart here. Good QB, really good receiver, solid running back. But I'm worried about my, there we go, LDE, so he's pretty good. Ooh, right, RDT, pretty good. RD, okay. So these guys are all pretty solid. Alright, so I can run. And run multiple defense. All right. So I'm going to run this, and I'm going to run this. The one thing about this game, man, I'm on playing on superstar mode, and so uh, it gets tough to defend the run, especially um, the the blocking, all that stuff. They will run right through you, over you, and through you. And so you'll, I'll give up, I'm sure I'll give up more than one big run in this game, and more than one big play one way or another. It's just, for me on this level, I'm not as good as some other guys. And it really does show. But I played good defense that time. Uh, let me see that. I mean, I allowed the catch, but I was right with him. Pop. That was, can't fool me in my middle zone. All right, let's go back. Enough about myself. Um, it's two robins. But you can see, I mean, I really do the challenge at this le at this uh, this level of play is pretty pretty intense. Got you, got you. Slid in behind your blockers. <laughs> yes. Well, that's good. Start the game with a stop. Start the game with three and out. That's what you want. And Flanders. Oh, okay. Oh, I actually tried to do it, but it was too late. I hit the button too late. Okay, so these guys, they really do a good job of running. I've got a great quarterback, though, so I can't run all the time. But I love the run game. That's one of my favorite things. Let's go I form Maryland, or Mary. We're going to run three inside. Mm, they are. They are lined up. No, it looks like a four. No, it looks like a forty-six. And I'm probably not going to make much here. But I'll try. Oh, oh, more than I thought. Look at that hole. 
Look at my blockers. Oh, they tried the zone, and so it just gave my... Oof. Running back, full back, and then the cut back. Oh, yes. That's a nice little lane in there. They called zone on me, and I took advantage of that. Let's go three outside and the other way. Now they're running 4-4. Four, four. And they're in zone. If I'm fast enough, I got a chance here. Oh, it wasn't that fast enough. Was not fast enough. They closed out of the hurry. Okay, well, let's run. Third and three. And let's go power this time. Let's go Y in. See if I can get a lead. Now, yeah, I, the way I'm playing this right now is kind of dumb. But sometimes I like to just test out the run game early on. Uh, so that's kind of what I'm doing here. Oh, oh. Fourth down, man, that was close. I'm really tempted to go for this. I mean, truly. Truly. It's a dumb thing to do. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it, and I'm going to try and live with the consequences. But sometimes it's not easy. Sometimes it's not easy. Gotcha. <laughs> ah, yes. Whew, they're lined up inside, so I can run that screen pretty well. Pretty well. Okay, so now it's first time we run this. That's why. Nailed it. Nailed it. Love that roll action. Love that roll action. This is basically the Atlanta Falcons offense. <laughs> this is, well, I should say the Atlanta Falcons offense with Mario. Although, didn't change that much when River was in, but still a lot of the same concepts, but more uh, more pocket stuff with Ritter. So this is more the roll stuff that I'm running. Let's see here. Let's run, should I run slant? No, I'm going to get out and run back to Jokers. Let's see. Yeah, let's run swing. Corners and swings. Got it. Right in between the zone. Right in between them. That's nice. I'm gonna speed out. <laughs> Moving them side to side. Get them stretched horizontally. And then suddenly we'll have seams vertically. Well, I mean, that's, yeah, that's the idea. In this game, obviously, video games, they don't mimic that aspect perfectly, but this game does as well as any, I'd say, with mimicking that whole response, attack response thing. I don't even want to run this play against this defense. Um, I don't want to run those plays either. Let's run this. Oh! Oh! Come on! That was entirely my fault because I did not, I had, check this out, replay, look at this guy. This is the guy who wanted to hit, but he was, I hit the wrong button. I hit the, or the shoulder button instead of B, but he was, if I pop that up, I mean, he's open. Anyway, whatever. My fault. My fault. I'm learning your buttons. Oh, oh hey, nice, thank you. Thank you for getting that. Because that could have gone some distance. He doesn't get off that block. Two man under. Combo. As they're sometimes called. Nice job, guys. Nice job, third and 11. Look at us, look at us. Playing defense, making it happen. Getting it done. Too high soft? No. Yeah, let's do too high soft. Little soft middle with Genevet. And uh see what happens. Oh! No! Man, I thought the trouble spot would be in the middle, but that guy completely blew his assignment. Oh well. Live and don't learn. Um combo. This is actually kind of a dumb call on first down because you really want. Yeah. Oh, 
<laughs> then I missed the tackle. And just that quickly, they got me. Mm. That's no good. That was bad. Bad. Let's do a field goal block. And see what happens. Oof. Got close, but no. No hand grenades. Hmm. Okay, that time I know it's twenty five. Alright, so let's go pro set blast. The nice thing is when you choose pro set, they don't choose as many condensed formations on defense, so sometimes you can take advantage of that with the run game a little bit. That inside zone is surprisingly surprisingly effective. And then there we go. Z arrow. It's nice that I can almost always hit this guy on the right side with the RP and get about two yards out of it. Almost always. Yeah, that time I only got about one and a half. But those quick passes, if you need a yard or two, sometimes that's the best way to go. Now what? Let's go near odd counter, see if they line up right. Oof, that's a zone. But are the corners staying home? Because if they are, that could be a problem. Linebackers say, okay, I'm gonna try it. Yeah, he stayed on the back. Uh, nope. Nope. I'm gonna go for it again. I'm already losing, so might as well lose all the way. Oh, they're a man. They are a man. Oh! That's exactly what I wanted. I had the look. I had the match, I had everything, and I hit the pass just right. <laughs> Absolutely nothing wrong with that play except my receiver dropped the ball. He just flat out dropped it. It wasn't a bad pass, he had no real excuse, and now, oh! Man, dude just breaks tackles. These guys are actually really good ones. They have really solid, if I'm not mistaken, let me see this. Yeah, not a good QB, yeah, that's him. Alex is just a freak and just an absolute monster out there. He's tough to bring down. Hmm. Oh well. I'm in for it today. Let's go safety blitz. I'm just gonna go all out blitz here. Or I'll let the quarter in. Whichever. Yeah, it's all fine. But, ah, let's go outside blitz this time. Instead of safety blitz, let's go outside blitz. Oh, nice defense, guys. Way to get that pass, Bradford, Bradford Zilmer. Way to get that pass. Linebacker, okay. That is what, man, this game, every time I play, I'm super impressed with what Hobbit built. You know, what he did was really something else in terms of making a football game that feels football. -y. It's still arcade to some extent. But it's surprisingly accurate in its representation of football. It's, I mean, sometimes shockingly accurate, but it's just always an interesting experience. For, oh, see, like, oh, let me replay that. Look at this pass. Look at this. So they've got the slant, and it just, it crosses up there in man. It crosses the men up. You get the rub. Look at the defense up here. Look at these guys. Yeah. You get that that collision right there, just a rub route, and <laughs> that is exactly how that trash is supposed to work. That's exactly what you want. Like, if you were drawing that up as an offensive coordinator, and you were out there saying, how can I get separation at the goal line? And you ran, you put that route up, and then you guys ran that route, that route combo just like that. You would be ecstatic as an offensive coordinator because it did exactly what it's supposed to do. Your inside man cleared out for your slant. Your inside receiver is going out, cleared out the spot, so that your outside man who's going in can get the touchdown. That is exactly how it's supposed to work, and there's a lot of that in this game. Like, you see it all the time. It's crazy. 
And it's crazy how well this game represents football in a lot of ways. Now, it's not perfect. Like, if you're someone who's like, I want to do this and this and this and do all the things. You know, if you want to run, say, yeah, what if there are several things in here? Trap plays. Trap plays are never perfect. And believe me, there are, <laughs> there are a lot of guys who tried to draw up a number of different iterations of them. They just, trap plays are so hard to draw because of the way that they talk. Talk too much. Because of the way that they, that they actually work and because of the way that the blocking works in the game. The blocking is more fire off the ball type blocking. So it's hard to get guys, you know, to play specific matchups and specific uh, gaps. But that's just something that you would kind of expect. Oh, come on, guys. Hold on to the ball once. Hold the, there's been a couple different plays now where I had a first down. And you guys just dropped the ball. Ugh, that drives me nuts. Also an accurate representation of football, though, because how many times have you seen that? Dang, guys are dropping the ball. Nope, 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 nope. nope. That was a mistake. He's gone. <laughs> yeah, it's going to hard. Shredded me. Shredded me. Yeah, so these guys, and this roster is actually, it emphasizes speed and strength a lot. Um, some of the skill was toned down, is what happened. And so the skill was toned down a little bit. Speed and strength was amped up and across the board. And that just helped guys to be able to get to the ball quicker. And so that's what you see. I mean, that's why some of these guys on the outside, they'll burn you. It's hard. Touchback mode. So, anyway, I still love the way this game plays football. It really, it really feels accurate. I mean, for the most part. There we go. Quick slant play. And Omaha. I like Omaha. It's a great play for this, for the like way against man defense in particular. If you have man defense outside, you get those quick outs. And then every now and then you'll be able to hit the tight end on the slant. That's great. And that's a really, it's a solid four yards, usually for me. And the fullback, this is a trap play. So the idea here is you got two guys cutting in to get up and to climb to a linebacker, hopefully. And you've got the guard moving out to clean up the backside because they're going to leave a gap. Now, is it going to work like that? Yeah, it's probably not. Yeah, worked okay that time. But really, if you look at the replay, so the two guys who were supposed to cut in, the tackle and the guard, they actually end up sort of getting the same guys. They just pin them inside. And then you got that outside hole, which is fine. I mean, I, that's not bad. I'll tell you, if you were running, running a trap play, you'd take that. You'd hope to get more than two yards out of it, though. But it doesn't, it doesn't really function exactly like a trap does. Now, this is a toss power trap. This one, one of the guys who did this, this is actually a pretty decent play overall. Again, is it perfectly like a trap? Not really, but kind of. <laughs> I mean, that was, if you look at what happened here, you had a blitzer this time from the out, two blitzers. And so the fullback comes up and pins one. And then the guy coming outside, the, the tackle wrapping back around, wraps backside into the linebacker. So that kind of works. I mean, that kind of works. Now, I don't know why the tackle got tossed away so quickly by the linebacker. That's not as good, but it's still, it's cool. A lot of that stuff has to do with the way that the, uh, on superstar level, which is what I'm playing on, a lot of those abilities are, on the defense are amplified. So a guy's speed and strength may be given a little boost if you're, if you're running outside. So when that happens, you'll see weird things like safeties or toss guards. I just find no problem. And stuff like that is a little bit, that, that gets cheese level. Um, but that's because I'm on superstar level, so it has the game has to amp up difficulty somehow. That's how it does it. Quick pivot play there. Anyway, let's see if I can. I got, I'm down 21. I mean, I'm dying. I'm dying. These guys are just shredding. Got it. All right. All right. Let's do your 39 swing. Yeah. Yep. 
Oh, I was not quick enough on that. That was that was right where I wanted it to. That's too bad. That's too bad. Let's go blast again on the inside zone. They're nickels. I got a chance maybe. Oh. <laughs> nope. Nope, nope. Guys get you so quick in this. Defense just just trash as well. Got it. Nice job, Finger. Tight ends. In this game, what I found is that on Superstar mode especially, they are some of the most important things you can have because they match up well against the linebackers. That's what I found. Won't work that way in every case, but that's just what I found in a lot of these cases for me. Oof. Check this out. See, this is what I mean. When I talk about football plays, look at what happened. The middle linebacker comes down. I pass the ball over, and he knocks it down. That's like, he sees that, he, it's almost like a C read swat play in football. It's really, man, that's good. That's good, that's good ball. That's good ball. Cannot complain about it. Gonna run the screen. They do get at you fast. They get at you fast in this game. Let's go back to shotgun pro maybe? No. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Look at the outside. Look at the outside. I wonder if I should get LP. LP or Y? No. Y. Nice. Nice. The reason that I hit that, if you look back, this was just another... A lot of you guys probably already saw it, but it's just another read where all these guys slide. They rotate to that side. That's why I decided to go back to Y. You have to pay attention to defensive rotations in this game. You have to pay attention. I mean, you kind of make pre-snap and post-snap reads. It's All that stuff is important, in a way, and that's pretty impressive. There aren't many games that really make you prioritize that stuff. They did not cover the man coming out of that. Took advantage of that. 14 players, 80 yards, 4 minutes per second. There aren't, at this level of Superstar, I do not get very many, like, one, two, you know, seven play, seven play drives. Not a lot of explosive plays. Not for me. Some guys can, again, I'm not a great player, but some guys can get it. I cannot. So the explosion plays are something that really get toned down for you. And then it becomes more methodical. How do I get four yards on fourth and three? Stuff like that. I mean, really, you know, you have to extend drives. You have to work for it a little more. That's what I find for myself. Do I run safety delay? Yeah. Run safety delay. Why not? You're down 21 nothing. Might as well blow your entire life up. <laughs> Just click on that. That's one thing too, man. The QBs in this game, they get the ball off pretty quick. They'll see you coming in. It's pretty crazy. Or at least it feels like it. I don't know if you know, the internal game code actually allows them to quote unquote see you as you drop down or whatever, but they do get the ball off quick. Man. You know, they they may hope to get him. Do not want to let that dude get outside. Allington with this, I mean as you've seen, he'll <laughs> just take it. Take it and go. Keep the gap. Gotta fill that that little gap. Yes! There we go. There we go. Good play. Punt return. Well, minute 43. Let's see if I can get score, some kind of score before the end of the half. TD would be great. Settle for a field goal. Or I'll just fumble the ball. And let them have it. Uh, that's irritating. That's super irritating. Of all the, I mean, of all the times to fumble, you stop them on fourth down. I don't want to think about it anymore. There we go, guys. Slanted the correct direction that time. Second 11. Fine. 
Nice job, guys. Good job. My front seven, I usually don't take a guy on the front seven. I usually take a safety or a linebacker. And the reason is just so much easier. You have more time to react when you're farther up. And then also, the block breaking system. Um, no! Oh, come on! <laughs> the block breaking system, as I was saying, is not great. Oh, that's what I get for fumbling. They're destroying. Absolutely destroying. Got that. Okay, well. Let's see what happens now. Seconds left. Formation. Shotgun Pro. That was from Flood. Why not? Why not run that fade on the outside? Why not run that over from the X side? Why not run the Y? On a. Anyway. Get out of bounds. Oh, good. Somebody's hurt. Oh, good. It's my quarterback. Eesh. Let's see what this means. Well, let me look at that chart. So he's down to an 87. Uh, it's not terrible. It's not as good as before. Still with disadvantage, and I can't really. I've got three timeouts, but only 45 seconds. I'm going to slide. I'm not slide. Poof. That ball off the got blocks. Okay. This from I love this flat. Oh, they're lined up. This might work. LP. Watch that LP. If, they're, if the safeties are lined up just about half at the hash distance like that, sometimes this works pretty well. Oh. Unless, of course, you once again get a guy directly in your face while you ball when you do it. I'm going to do it around. I'm going to run that play again. If you line up that way again, yep, same line. All right, and you rotate it over. Good. I wanted you to do that. Now I'm going to call timeout. And that was rotated. Safety rotation post snap gave me that. Oh, now you're too high, and I'm running corners. So, that's cool. Oh, come on. I wish that had been a perfect throw, but it wasn't. I'm going to throw flats this time. I'm on man, so that's a good thing for this. Oh! That was almost perfectly timed, too. He turned it around just when I wanted to. That's lame. That's the ball. But I mean, it was a tough catch. He got hit just as he caught it, so. Oh, rotating over. Nope. Nope. Fourth and ten. I might as well go for it. Let's just do dual cross. I'm <laughs> basically just running all the plays in a straight line at this point. <sighs> yeah. That's about what I expected. Eighteen seconds left. Formation. Go. Nickel, I guess. Contained. But they could still very easily score here, especially if they. Whew. Tip drill. Well, they're calling timeouts. They're trying to score on me. They're 100% trying to score on me here. Hard. I want to go hard and flat. Yeah. Might help if they try to run outside. There we go. That one did its job. Ten seconds left. Free buddy. It's actually decent defense right here. Or when you're in the right spot. It's not really good for running. 
but it's good for the middle. Yep, there we go. There we go. Uh, second, yeah, sure. Punt return, I guess. Doesn't really matter, but... It's not like I'm gonna return the punt for a TD here. Nope, touchback. And so, I'm only down by 21 points at the half. Oh, no, wait, I get a, I get a chance. Go hail trips. And why does she fall? Nah. Safety split? Nah, yeah, actually, safety split. The safety split. RP and Y, LP. Oh, he got it! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, caught that pop up. All right, so I got five first down. They, I have twelve first downs, 195 total yards. I'm beating them in a lot of different ways, and yet I am getting creamed. Those two turnovers, man. Two turnovers just absolutely murdered me. Was not playing smart. Oh, I hit the ball back though. That's good. I was not playing smart. Going for it on fourth down. Too much. Too many turnovers. The fumble. Oof. Nope. Alright. So. Go. Oof. Eyes and dice. He's out. Let's see. Time to try this again. I don't know. I don't want that. Jokers. Let's go Jokers. I'm going to run the fullback here. So I can get just a quick short yardage thing. Whew. No. <laughs> Definitely not. They, man, they shut that down. Um, five wheels. Yeah. Alright, hey, wait to hold on, Walford. Way to hold on to that football. Third and seven. I'm not gonna run a half back outside on this. This one's got a chance. Not a great chance. Maybe not even a good chance. But if I can get fast enough to the outside, I might be able to make something out of it. Oh man! Did you see that? Check that dude out. Right here, this guy just bam. Bam. That dude came out fast. Fourth down, I gotta find. I mean Santiago Coward is that his name. <laughs> Great name. Santiago Coward. There we go. Well, still got back into my territory. Let's see here. Let's see cover seven? Hmm. Yeah, I guess so. Good job that time. He's getting down there. Only two yards. It's fine. That's fine. Mm, cross blitz, no. Linebacker blitz. Nice. Nice job, guys. Get in there. Ready to get in there. Six. Yeah, right. All right. Stop that. That's good. Four thousand and forty. What are they gonna do? What are they gonna do? They might actually try to kick the field goal. Here. It's encouraging me to choose punt return, but no, they're gonna try and kick a field goal. 
is a 60 yarder. 60 yarder, but they don't really have much of wind to speak of. And no. <laughs> not even close. Not even close to good. Zero chance of that one being good. Run inside split. tried to grab me and I was gone already. Oh, and they just lost their left defensive end. He might still be playing. Dislocated finger usually isn't too serious, but but we'll see. Let's run 26 OZ split. Oof. They lined up once again. Oh, man. Yeah, my guys up front cannot handle these dudes. <laughs> that guy can't. Santiago Cowers is killing us. He's killing us today. Uh, sure, sure, sure. Sure, sure. Oh, I need to be a little bit earlier on that. Because that was, as soon as I saw the safety moving over, I knew that's what I wanted. And it just, just wasn't fast enough on the, on the trigger that time. Let's flip this and go the other way. What well, have you? I've got man outside. Hmm. I saw that safety coming over and thought I could beat him. And I was wrong. I was wrong. Look at this. But again, let's go back to the whole football aspect of it. I really shouldn't have thrown this pass, and I deserved to get that picked. It was just a bad pass, basically into double coverage. I had no business throwing it, but I did. And, uh, again, you live with the consequences on stuff like that. Let's run a gap for us here. Oh, froze me. Nope, they just totally beat me on that. <sighs> yep, just totally froze me on that. Hmm. That was rough. I am getting destroyed. Turn middle. And we got a touchback. Poof. Corner 
first strike on first down. Yikes. We were moving as a three that time. Just a bad throw. Got nine yards there. Let's see what we got after Far Street. No, we're going to go Izzy Reed. because there's no point in not going for it at this point. Run the same play. And this is just where you run the same play and see if you can get it. See if uh, something happens and you can yeah, make those few extra yards. Um, let's go. Let's go slants. their best corner right there. Thought he could still hit that slant, but nope. No, he couldn't. That's the value of a good tight end, ladies and gentlemen. The value of a good tight end. Yep. Right now, since I'm losing so badly, but. Mm. I had the underneath like I wanted. But they knocked it down. Oh, good grief. This has got to stop, man. This is one thing. I get so many passes knocked down, it's not even funny. And I found that in a lot of games, there are just so many deflections at the line of scrimmage that it's a little bit... That's where the game... That's one thing where the game really does get a bit cheesy. But... I'll live with it because there's all the other good things about it. That's what I finally looked like I wanted. So there we go, 9.80. Hard drive, so that was good. Got that nice explosion play on the tight end pass. But yeah, the knockdown back and forth passes bad at the last scrimmage a lot sometimes, and especially in superstar mode because the pressure gets in there so quickly. But it does feel a little bit like it's okay. Come on, at times you don't see typically in a regular NFL game more than I think the average about two passes bad at the last scrimmage per game, maybe. So it's not a you know it's, it's not a common thing yet. In, the, in Legend Bowl, it does happen. Quite a bit. Nonetheless, you know, there's only so many ways you can try to mimic the sport of football. So I understand, you know, how that, how that can happen. But, oh, I was right there. I wasn't paying attention. Um, so it's not such a big deal. But I'm just saying, it does get frustrating. But I mean, hey, can you imagine being in an NFL game or a college game? High, even a high school game, getting a pass knocked down a line of scrimmage? That would drive me nuts like that. I thought that would just think about that for the rest of the game. <laughs> you have the play, you know what you want to do. Everything's working right, and then somebody swats the ball. That's not fun at all. Oh, no, don't let him out. Thank you. Cool. If that dude gets past that guy, it's over. It's over. It's 42 to, 42 to 14 all of them. Again, you know, I was like, they just score me again. That's all that would happen. Like, so there's nobody to stop it. Third and two. What are, I don't even have a play for third and two. There's no defense for third and two. Um, watch the screen, guys. Side. Oh, snap. They had everybody. Everybody. There was no flow to the ball on that one. I was the only guy trying to I was one on three. There was no way I was going to get through that. Ah, uh, it's so irritating. I mean, we locked up. 
their best running back for the most part all this game. And he had, he had that one really good run. We were doing pretty well, and now all of a sudden, boom. With their second string, they break that run. That's frustrating. And the problem is, that same run, every time I run that run, I will get free. I will not make those yards. But those guys, the computer, the AI, don't run that on all day. If you recall cover one, yeah. <laughs> It'll beat you. It's tough. Yeah, he's got 13 catches for 142 yards. He had, a, he had a decent day. He's doing okay. He's uh, earning his keep, let's say. <laughs> oh, the stiff arm when it works is the greatest thing on the planet. There's one thing I love too about this game is that there's a finality. Like, this, when you stiff arm somebody, you know you stiff arm them. I love that finality to it. The definitiveness of the whole thing. It's like, yeah, I'll stiff arm the guy. There we go. Tight end again. Gregory Lindo. Now, and that's the other thing, by the way, about this game. Once you get up to the higher level, superstar and all that, you are going to find that passing is really where you're going to make your money. And it does get to be kind of like the run game becomes an afterthought. I really should have been from the very beginning of this game. I mean, I'll just tell you right now, if you want to win at superstar level, don't run. Just don't run the football very often at all. With the, because the real... <laughs> the real... 10 yards rushing for quite a while. That's a good running back. Wallingford is a really good running back. If you were playing against him, he would be carving you up. I can just about guarantee it that he would carve you up on these plays. And yet, you can't get the same yard if you're playing that, that's a computer game. You just can't. I, I mean, you literally cannot. You will not be effective. You will not be as effective, I should say, running the football with Wallingford as a computer would be. He's just that good. The computer is that good. I missed you, yeah. <sighs> he undercut me. That was just good defense. I mean, just good defense. Um, yeah, see, he was underneath the route and just stepped in front of it. Mm. I was hoping he'd be above it and he was underneath it. Okay, well. Can't complain about it. I mean, that's actually a very fair play. It's not a cheese play. It's not a defense just did a good job covering. The defense is better than me at, at football. That's what I'm... I mean, this other team is just beating me because they're better. And I'm not playing well. I'm not, you know, taking too many chances, being too, being silly. And you can't play on this level like that. It won't let you. Oh, snap. Because these guys are bigger and faster and stronger than you. And now he's gone again. Now I'm just going to give up running because there's no point. That dude is a beast. That dude is a beast. So yeah, that's the thing. Is like at these levels, truly, I can just tell you right now, passing is how you win. There, there, there is no way, really. There's no good way to to just run the football and win. You can do it maybe with a different roster. Now, if you got a different roster in the game, maybe you can do it with that. Maybe. But the truth is, you know, like, it, when I first made the, when I first made this particular roster, actually, it was pretty balanced. You know, you could still run, and you could pass. Um, it was still, it's always a little bit tilted towards the pass, but not nearly as much as this. And so, when you come to this, when you come to the superstar level, it's tilted so hard to pass. It really is a, you know, you're going to pass to win the ball. Well, you're going to pass the ball to win the ball. That's just how it's going to go. Because you can't really do it otherwise. You can't do anything else. Um, running the ball effectively, consistently, is not really an option. It just isn't. The guys get too, the guys on the outside get to you so quickly. It's ridiculous. It just isn't even. It just isn't even a question of you actually being able to make anything out of it. You'll get a few yards. You'll get a few. You might get a, a an explosion play in this game. It's like a 20-yard run. That's 
that's about the max I've been able to get. I think prior to that, with the USFL mod, and then, again, there was a bunch of changes made to some of the internals of this game, so a lot of that stuff has changed, but prior to this, the 85 USFL mod was also a little more balanced, so I got some you know decent runs out of that, but, but at this point, the way the game has been tweaked internally, it's it's a much different animal than what it was before. So that's where you kind of you know, that's where at this point, yeah. For me, I just run the football. Or I pass the ball to win. I'll run the ball to get first downs and stuff like that. I like to see if I can run because I love the run game. But if you want to play the game seriously, and if you're one of those people who has to win <laughs> to feel good about it, uh, yeah, you're gonna want to pass the ball a lot more. Oh, come on, man. That was me. That was all me being an idiot because I held the I held the B button really. And then held it too long, so. No, that was not. That one was not. Uh, I don't know what happened. No, you know what? What am I doing? I'm taking a sure goal. Oh, and that's one last thing that really kind of irks me. That right there. Instead of asking, instead of putting up a special, it will automatically pull up the field goal play for you, and you have to back out of it. So sometimes you hit the wrong button. That drives me up the wall. You hit the wrong button. If you're just looking away or something like that, you hit the button, and all of a sudden you're running a field goal and you don't want to. Really, it doesn't do that with any other play either, so oh, that's my fault. It doesn't do that with any other play. That's only on those plays. So it, it's like an automatic instinct that you learn, and then all of a sudden it wants you to change for that one play. It's it's a strange mechanic to me, and that's one thing that you just kind of have to get used to, and I've never gotten really fully used to it. I've just never had. It's a weird deal. It's like a mental block, but you never got used to that particular aspect of it. So yeah, two worst things about this game, the special team selection and the fact that you're going to get creamed if you're not paying attention on Superstar mode. Those are the worst things about this game. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty, that's pretty good when you think about it. <laughs> if those are the worst things about the game, uh, yeah, that's not such a big deal at all. By far. In my mind, the best football game around right now. I haven't seen Retro Bowl. I know people people automatically think this game is Retro Bowl. It kills me. Every time I see somebody talking about this game, oh, Retro Bowl, huh? No. No, stop it. For one thing, in this game, you can actually play defense. You play both offense and defense. Also, this is a completely different viewpoint and perspective than Retro Bowl, both literally and also just philosophically in terms of football aspects. It's not Retro Bowl nothing like it. It has pixels. That is where the similarities end. I'm sorry if I sound a little bit salty about it, as the kids say, but it just gets so tiring to so be like, oh, Retro Bowl. No, no, it's not Retro Bowl, man. It's a far bigger and deeper game than Retro Bowl. Retro Bowl is a cool game, though. I, by the way, you know, I'm I'm not saying I hate Retro Bowl. It's a really nice game, but it's not like this game at all. Oh, dude! See, he was rattled there. So he heard footsteps, got nervous, and that's why he didn't make that catch. That's the other nice thing. You know, Pavel put a lot of stuff when he made this game. He put a lot of little things in this game that are unique in terms of how they feed back to the player. And I love it. I love the feedback that that gives you in terms of, you know, Man, so fast. Why are you so fast? In terms of, you know, it doesn't just say you missed the pass. It gives you an idea of why they missed the pass. You know what? I'm going to go back. Here we go. Pro sets. So you know what's happening. You know, it's not like, oh, I just missed that pass and I have no clue why. You know that, oh, he got rattled. And that's why he couldn't make that, he couldn't make that play. I love that. That's a great mechanic. It's a great idea. And I think... Oh, I thought that guy might actually jump up and tip that ball. And I think that's why this game is really... Uh, I'm not going to call it a timeout. It doesn't even matter. But also I want to save it just in case I get the onside kick. 
Yeah, <laughs> straight up the middle. Again. Again. 14 catches with 221. That's a tight end right there. That's Travis Kelsey type numbers. Oh, from your stutter go. Boop. No. Yeah, it's true that ball like a roll of paper towels. It certainly was high enough. It certainly was high enough to be a roll of paper towels. In, out, out, up. Yeah. This probably is going to be much. Got that first down. Got a minute 44 left. Omaha. Oh, come on, you got it. What? Uh, <laughs> Why? I'm going to run it again. That's right. Run it. Oh, hey. Uh, you want to leave anybody on beat? No? Okay. Uh. <laughs> That's too easy. <laughs> no, I didn't even try to cover that one. Thank you. Oh, no, I'm going to go for two doing this. Oh, hilarious. Leave my wall on the outside. Gracias. Yes. Got the slant that time. Got that slant. And I got to go for an outside conversion. I can get this if I get this. And I get a touchdown. Just think about this for a second. I can get this play. I can get a touchdown off of this play. And I will still be down if I get the two point conversion by 19. <laughs> Oof, hasn't been a great day for me. Oh my god! Are you kidding me? Just threw it up. He just ha 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 couldn't be happier. Uh, one minute. Yeah, I'll take the time. Time out one minute. Man. So as you notice, I have not been passing the ball at all, and I am doing much better. And that's really kind of me, the one sad thing about this game at this, at this level is that, you know, you really, it's, it really is necessary to pass. If I had been doing this from the first half, I might be a little bit closer in terms of, you know, scoring and stuff like that. Um, but that's just how it goes. So, oof, try to dodge. Fourth down. From the 20, fourth and two. Run this. Dove out of bounds. Preserve that clock. No timeout. Used. Right. Mm, no. <laughs> that would trigger too long that time. Run it again. Oof. That could have been picked. Definitely could have been picked. Shark got that wheel. Nope. Hmm. Twin snag 84. There we go. Kind of fear, but look, we'll see what happens. That's kind of fitting. That's fitting. That's definitely how it should end. Although they'll probably get one more TD off a long run here. <laughs> that would be fitting. There's no time out. And that means there will be about two more plays.
Let's see here. Yeah, okay. Nope, one more play. I can't stop the clock. It's over. It's over! One thief combo. I really wish that at this point you could bring up the stats and stuff like that without having to stop the clock without putting, hitting the pause button. It'd be nice to be looking at stats while they're pulling the final meal down. That would be cool. San Diego Coward had 11 tackles. Look at that. 542 total yards, but only 6 rushing. <laughs> they averaged 7 yards per carry. Player of the game. Yeah, he deserves it. That dude gave me serious issues. Five catches and three of them were TDs. Whew. That does not speak well of my past defense. Stats. Three TDs, but two interceptions. Killers. And then my other guy, this dude, four TDs, no interceptions. Yeah, I kind of got, I kind of got burned. Wallingford. I had two fumbles down here, too. Look at this. What are you guys? Pearl and Lindo. Both. What are you guys doing? Why, why would you do that to me? Why would you do that to yourselves? 16 receptions. Monster game from this dude. And this dude even had... Look at this guy. 11 for 108. That's a very respectable game. With a TD. 9 for 123. Excellent game. And yet this guy... 16 for 227. But he didn't get a TD. I mean, just crazy. Crazy stuff. Four drops there. Four drops there. Fewer drops next time, please. Let's see here. Come sack. I got one sack. They got two. So see, the pass rush is really that great. It's just kind of, it's pass rushy, but not the pass rushingest. And just to show, this is settings. The front difficulty, superstar. QB assist to kick assist both off. So, but yeah, I mean, 49-22, I got murdered. Um, let's go back and see what happens. Go back to the league schedule. League. Yes, here we go. And then, uh, oh well. Wow. Seeming like the week. I'm just going to show, I'm just going to see what the newspaper says for next week. And then we will be done. We'll be out of here. I'm going to go back. News, newspaper. Bullies are at the top of the Western Conference. And Coach Blackwell is on the hot seat already for a dreadful record. He deserves it. Never did like that guy. Anyway, so yeah, I got absolutely destroyed. Um, so that's that's Legend Bowl, man. Sometimes, it's, sometimes you're the hero and sometimes you're the villain. Today I was just miserable. A miserable lump of putty. That was just getting stomped into the field. That's how that went. But uh, hopefully next game will go better. Hope you guys like this. And remember, if you're playing on Superstar, you're gonna pass. You're gonna want to pass a lot. I would say set your pass run ratio at about 80-20, and that's high. I realize, but that's just to, in order to move the ball. It's kind of what you start. You end up having to do. Uh, there are other guys who run sometimes, but I again, different rosters, different. I don't know something but it for me on that roster it's very difficult to make any headway with the run game anyway uh yeah but pick it up take a take a peek at legend bowl lower levels you can run easily um veteran is right a good balance of run pass um and then pro is actually running sometimes feels like it's a little bit too effective too easy but uh killer game really does a lot of good a lot of things very well concerning football so, yep, and also, of course, there's all the customization you can do. If you can look at my newspaper, October 1902, you can start from any year, and it'll run through any year. So, it's pretty fun. You can have a very retro, very retro team or a very future team, if you wish. Anyway, that's it, and I hope everybody has a safe and happy Saturday. Bye-bye.